Well, look at this day. It's, uh, it's been a nice day. Uh, it snowed earlier. Uh, it was snow and rain mix. I, it, was, it was cold. It's still cold. It's like 38 right now, I think. But uh, it's been a pretty nice day uh, overall. And uh, welcome back to the channel. And we are on part two of Hank here. And this is going to be the detailing video. Uh, I think we're gonna start on the inside on this thing and we're not gonna I'm not gonna do like a super take the seats out and like all that stuff I'm just gonna do as much as I can while leaving it whole uh, the main the main reason is because the other side over here has You know all this paint flaking and then it has this problems on the doors right here So the outside's gonna get you know a nice wash uh, I'll wax it but I don't want to like buff it or anything because then I would want to address this stuff. I don't have the ability to do that right now. So, so because of that, uh, we're not like cheaping out. We're just doing a lighter detail. Uh, so on the inside, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it up pretty dang nice. Uh, but it's not going to be like, you know, flawless, but it'll be good. Uh, I think I want to start on these door jams because these are just, these are just nasty. And uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be a nice, nice little uh, relaxing, just, you know, kind of hanging out, listening to some music type video. Got a bucket of soapy water, super soapy water. It's just uh, dish soap, you know, the grease remover type stuff. And then I got my little steamer warming up. I uh, got some rags and brushes and stuff and uh, mostly just going to do this all by hand. And uh, yeah, look at that right there. That's uh all right, let's uh, get to work. Alright, so after uh, doing the back there a little bit and like trying to squeeze in that little hole on the other side, I've decided it's just going to be easier to take these seats out. Uh, maybe a little extra time right now, but to clean the floor and the seats properly and to move around, it's just going to be so much easier with them gone. And it's four bolts for each seat, then a bolt for each uh, seat belt. So, you know, that's not too bad. And I have power tools. Thank you. 
change of plans so I don't have the right torques uh, to get these out so we are going to leave the seats in
Well, the inside's done. It's not perfect, uh, but this isn't a perfect detail. You know, sometimes they're, they're just not. This isn't a perfect truck, so it's not getting perfectly cleaned, which is fine. But, oh, it smells so good in there now. But it is time to do the outside. So, basically, I'm just going to wash it, and uh, uh, I'll do like a, uh, like a spray wax on it, but I'm not going to get too, too intense with it. Uh, again, because of this stuff right here. And uh, I don't want to do painting on the truck, so it's not going to get a super nice detail. Since I can't make it like near perfect, then I'm not going to, you know, I'm just going to, it's going to be clean. But it definitely has, you know, it definitely needs to be cleaned. This stuff, who knows how long it's been growing on here. Oh, yeah, sounds nice, huh? And then, you know, the windows all have this stuff on it. And uh, I'm going to spray, you know, as much of this off as possible and then just let it be what it's going to be. Let's start with the bed here, get it cleaned out and sprayed out, and then we'll move on to the rest.
those look way different. Uh, I got some tire stuff I'm going to put on them once they're all dry. Just going to let the sun or the cold or whatever dry them out. Uh, then as far as the truck is concerned, uh, it does need a coat of wax, which I'm going to do right now. But it is looking good. This paint is pretty rough. It's got scratches all over the place. A good buffing would do it really nice. But once again, we're not buffing, which I'm kind of bummed out about because of you know this stuff right here just it's just not gonna i want it to match as much as possible so if it's all you know messed up everywhere and then this is really messed up that kind of matches more than buffing the whole thing and then having this stuff really messed up you know so it's it's compromised but uh yeah we're almost there uh gonna start waxing it's just a just a cheap spray wax it's nothing fancy um truck's not fancy it don't get fancy stuff but yeah I'm gonna start that all right well there we go all nice and clean it looks real good from back here and uh it's it it did get a little dirty from when i finished washing it to now because we got a long dirt driveway and i did take it on a drive so it's a little dirty the button flaps are dirty and stuff but it looks so much better and uh it's probably not going to stay this clean it'll stay cleanish but it's hard to keep the cars around here clean because of that dirt driveway oh, look at that mud flap already it's just covered in Eek. And, oh, it's all right there too. Uh, anyway, so yeah, just a nice wash, thorough wash, a nice little, you know, spray wax. Uh, may end up doing a little bit more wax on it later at some point. Uh, when the weather's nicer, it has been cold, but uh, don't pay attention to that. The uh, original one, the, the, the tire won't hold air, so I need to get that fixed, but that's not in the budget, right? So just, just don't look, don't look. Anyway, I guess it does match this stuff. So, you know, what can you do? So maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Anyway, look how nice and pretty and just like, looks looks good. It's a good looking truck. Let's check out the inside. The windows are my favorite thing. I like having clean windows. I like to be able to see through them, like nice and clearly. And uh, to me, that's the most important thing but look at the look at this oh it turned out nice it's so nice and clean the carpet still pretty stained i could probably work on that quite a while longer uh but i don't want to i already did about an hour that right there is just caked like no matter how much water i put on it and then sucked it up it's just nothing but mud oh that's a that's a bad spot it smells a lot nicer in here too like it didn't smell bad uh it definitely smells like dog but uh a lot of that has gone away now and it's just it's just a nice little let me get the uh, thing is stiff back looks good the back looks the best this is the best i mean you know it should be seats look nice they feel nice uh, they didn't feel bad before but they feel clean now there's also some since i drove it, it needs to be vacuumed again it's probably the cleanest it's going to be in a while anyway here is you know, I know this isn't like the other detail channels. Uh, I'm not a professional detailer, but uh, I like my things clean. And this is cleaner than it's going to ever be. I really like the door jams. Oh, they're so nice and clean. Feels good. You know, when you go to open up your door to get in the car and the door jams are cleanish, you know, or at least remember all that gunk that was right here. Oh, that was just ew, you know, but now, now it feels nice. It's going to be a nice little commuter, you know, work truck, whatever, whatever it's assigned to, whatever job it gets. But uh, it's pretty, pretty good looking. It runs pretty good, too. Uh, if you want to see the video of, you know, me getting this thing running back on the road, uh, there should be a link to it somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, but, you know, go look at that. It's, uh, it's been a journey. And, you know, thank you for following along with me. 
And you know, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, I know it's not like my other stuff where it's like older trucks and stuff. I just couldn't, you know, I haven't had a Ranger in a while. And uh, my dad had one, my mom has one, so I just, you know, it was a little bit of nostalgia for me. You know, it's kind of fun still, you know, but, uh, uh, you know, I'll be back on the old stuff here pretty soon. Uh, still got pesticide in the back and everything, still working on that. Uh, but, you know, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, you know, give a like, uh, subscribe, follow along. Uh, if you would like to donate to the channel, uh, there's a PayPal link down in the description. All donations go to the vehicles. Uh, you know, supplies, tools, uh, buying a vehicle. I don't spend any of that stuff on me. Anything y'all give me goes straight to making sure the channel stays here and making sure the stuff is like as good quality as, you know, somebody like me can have. Uh, which, better than a lot, but not as good as others. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, so anyway, thank you for uh, watching and uh, have a good rest of your day.